Okay guys, gonna give you a quick look on the AMG GT63S. Look at the white Panamericana grille. Lovely. This one has the same clamshell bonnet as the E63 AMG. And look at these massive 21 inch wheels. Now these wheels, uh, they're quite something. Uh. They're not the type of wheels whereby it appeals to you immediately, but then you look at it, it has that imposing design damn v8 biteable formatic 600 over horsepower 315 k kilometers of top speed it's a huge massive car all right it's like the size of a panamera but then uh, let's go in and have a look okay frameless doors of course it's frameless doors and look at these now these are very familiar design aesthetics already the Burmester speaker grills now this part is interesting so this car is actually base the base of it is actually that of the e-class or cls okay it's closer to the cls than to the amg gt but then mercedes now they share all their engine and drive trains right so this is perfectly okay to me all right now this part here the upper part here looks like an e-class but then over here they integrate the design theme of the AMG GT. Right? This makes it very interesting. You have all the controls here and these are electronic buttons where they change the screen depending on what you are trying to adjust here. So this, you can press them. They are not haptic. They are actual buttons, but there is a screen underneath it. Very interesting. Now, this is something new here. This one, again, there's a screen here showing what you're pressing. This one also, this one is very reminiscent of Porsches. It came straight from Porsche. Okay, given that uh, 100 years ago, Porsche is an engineering consultancy firm for Mercedes-Benz. So I think, I guess that's something all right, I guess. Beautiful, flat steering wheel. And this new steering wheel is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, this car starts from 1 million. Even if you get the 3-liter version, it's going to start at 1 million. Okay, give you a quick look. How does it sit behind? I am 5 foot 11 and that is my sitting position up front. This is the headroom that I have and the legroom that I have. And of course, in the middle here is a console. There's no center armrest. It's designed like a sports seat and, uh, and the seats are very low actually. Of course, you can adjust it. Now, this is a sports car. They have no intention of making it a comfortable luxury cruiser. So you look at how the Panamera has evolved into a more luxurious cruiser, whereas this guy here is all out performance. This is interesting. The wing. Hmm. I thought the wing is supposed to lift up. But this one is an actual wing that is on top. That, man, that is very imposing this is the coupe tail lamp that mercedes gives to their coupe lineup so look at that absolutely gorgeous looking this should have been what the cls but but then the cls has become more civil more everyday like right this is huge imposing and good looking all right they're gonna start now and yeah that's a short overview of the amg gt and we're gonna have a fun day today Cheers guys. Okay guys, I'm sitting at the back of the AMG GT4 Coupe and it's raining rather heavily now. A bit of slip here, he is the going for it. This car is an all-wheel drive. Yep. It's all-wheel. Formatic. The, the grips are massive. I can tell you, the grip levels are crazy. So we are at turn 5 here, 140 over. 40 over cambridge really oh, <laughs> turn six this is very fast very fast very grippy and of course the engine pulls strong turn seven eight one steering action look at him going at it even though it's four wheel i'm sure it's rear bias Gears, man. Oh. Now this.
this car can go 315 kmh think about that and so far it's currently the fastest four-door car and on the number ring oh look at the way it takes that corner crazy now these are of course professional driving instructors i will not be able to drive at this pace no way in hell coming to the last turn this is a very tricky turn This is a true four-door performance car. Oh, Damn. Guys, what's up, driver? Good-looking chap. Huh. Thank you. You're not too bad looking yourself. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you're welcome to go for a hot lap in the E63 now, sure. or the uh, C63. 